It's so what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is. First thing I want y'all to do is take note of these guys' records right here. Y'all already see these guys no slouches. They ain't no hoes. Somebody gonna say something about the dude being a 76 overall, but hey, that didn't stop him from being 54 and 4. It is what it is, man. But on to the thing. Now, now y'all look at our record. Cause we ain't nothing pretty over here. And while all this going on, make sure y'all check the link in the description, cop yourself some merch, and do all of that. Now, what we got today here, ladies and gentlemen, is Lockdown University in session. Y'all already see Paul 10 and 6, Man Man 14 and 6, I'm 25 and 12. Like, our records are not like that. But what I want to talk to y'all today about is, what do you do when you're dealing with the bigger center and he uh and, and he tries to just spam screens? It's crazy, man. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game that, that you can do as far as defense. And give me that steal. That's one of the things you can do as far as defense. We already talked about it. Right! We already talked about standing in the passing lane and getting steals. I think they toned that down a lot, but watch this right here. He's going to try to come set the screen. Nope, not going to let him set the screen. Now, how does that happen? He just straight up lost the ball. But see, if, if you got somebody on the game that just wants to be a screen spammer, that's all you got to do. You stand in front of them. If they want to just run straight up the court and go somewhere, watch. He's going to try to come set the screen. I'm going to do, do it one more time. Push him right into his man. I don't know how that's legal. How did Paul even fall? Bro, how did Paul even fall? I don't know how this is legal. I don't know why they allow it. But, hey, boom, look. And he loses the ball. You're not going to set a screen on me. If it's a bad screen, illegal screen, any of that good stuff right there. Like, this is all you got to do. If you're able, now, if you miss, and you're going to see me miss a couple of times later on in the game, you're dead. And that's man going to the rim. Uh, if you miss, you're dead. He's going to run right by you and all of that good stuff. If you got somebody that knows what they're doing, what he's going to do is adjust his approach. See, right now he's going to try to go onto the rim. He's not even going to try to set that screen anymore because he already know what time it is. But right there on that you and look look at that you see i can push him out of the way too if he got position on back and straight push him out of the way this is how you have to play the paint this year i don't know why it's this way i don't know why it's this physical i don't know why they have it trays up splash down i don't know why oh that was a two-pointer i don't know why they got it this physical i don't know why they have it the way that they have it but and see right there, I tried to push him and I lost him. So it's going to be some gambling, some give and take. Normally what I'd like to try to do when you try to do that move, you, you stand in front of them and as soon as they hit turbo, then you hit it. If you do it when the man is not facing you and he's not running at you, you will draw a foul. You can foul out in the park this year. I have done. I think you get five fouls, maybe six. So you can't just spam. Right! Look at the spin dunk by Man Man Grindhard. You cannot just spam it. So, like, as far as uh, spamming, what do you call it? Like, right now, I try to push him again. I tried to time it, but he didn't do it. But that time, I timed it right. If I do that and he's not facing me, then I look at the box out. It's a thing of beauty. It's a reason rebound and I can box him out. If you do that and he's not facing you, they will call foul. If he's not running at you, they call foul. If he is at rest in any type of way, they will call foul. But the way that you can play defense this year, man, you can just do it. It's just so much stuff. And I'm doing that by tapping B. We, we tapped this potential in our Lockdown University, the first video. And that's when I told you guys, I was like, well, we're going to check it out and see if they call the fouls in park and exactly what can we do and all of that. Yes, you can foul off the ball in park. And uh, if you get a bad matchup or whatever, but the thing is, you only get five fouls. So if you use the five fouls, you out of there. And that's just all to a five or six fouls. I don't know which one it is, but you're out of there if you foul too much. So I guess that's what they did to mitigate it. But look, check it out. I'm not going to let him get down court. They can't set up their offense. And when you take the center out of the game like that, if he's going to be gullible enough to continue to run straight into you and, and don't run a different line up court, that's what you got to do. You got to square him up and say, okay, I know this is the spot you want to get to, and then don't let him get to it. But the thing is, if you do it like that, and you make him think about running up the court and make him think about everything he's doing, then, see, I, I tried to check him right there, and uh, I end up, I didn't give a buck. He should have passed it to him. I don't know why he did, but they, they don't get anything out of it. But if, you are, if you're able to make them think about what they're doing, make them think about uh, how he's going to come up court and don't let him just get a free run up court. That's all it is. Last year, you could grab him and pull him and stuff like that, but this year, it's just like you just straight up chuck him. I tried to chuck him again right now. I'm not even going to lie to you because I was trying to test it out, test the limits of it, and, and so I could tell you. But like I said, we, we, we went over this in lockdown. I'm dead right now. If, even if you missed a shot, I was dead. We went over this in lockdown university on the first one when I was trying to show you guys the post moves uh, and, and how to defend the post, and this is just another element to it. So you can, you can uh, and another thing is when you're boxing 
pushing people out. What you want to do is you box out and you push the right stick in the direction that the person is. And that way you can box them all the way out. You do like coach say, put some behind on them, put some of that, put some butt on them or whatever it is. And see right here, I try to push them again, I missed. And uh, yeah, it cost me a bucket. So it's not something that you can spam. And if you don't line it up properly, you are going to give up a bucket. But like I said, we, we, we had this game pretty well in hand. I wasn't even worried about it after that. Uh, I just wanted to test the limits of the entire thing. And, and that's really where it is. So it's really good to disrupt the offense. But the main thing is, if they're getting twos, we don't really care about them getting twos, right? The only thing we didn't want them to do is, is get another three. And they not gonna, they're not really gonna get any threes if, if he can't set the screen. So the only thing that I wanted to do that game is deter him from setting screens over and over and over on my teammates and uh, doing a little wrap up top. And I was able to do that because if I stand there where he intends to go or where he intends to set the screen and I can catch him when he's coming up. Did he hit that? I think he gonna hit that. Oh, good defense by Jay. Um, if you can do that, then you can just, you, you know, it, it's not a, it's not something that you're going to be able to do every time. But if you can do it, then you just, you just keep them from getting threes. Now, Paul ain't playing on defense, so they're getting threes anyway. But uh, it is what it is, because uh, I streak stage is not doing his job. But um, like I said, man, and the way that you do that, oh yeah, the way that you do it is you just stand in front of him and uh, just tap B. So when he gets close to you, just tap B and you'll chuck him. And uh, if you want to do the safe version of it, you stand in front of him and you hold left trigger. And, um, and then just hold up trigger when he runs by, he'll rub off. Now he might go on through you, but if you want to do the aggressive version of it, you can either tap B or you can hold up trigger and tap B. And if you do that, then you will impede his progress and uh, they won't be able to go on by you. You can also do that when a person has the ball as well. And uh, most of the time you're either gonna take a charge or you're just gonna straight stonewall them. Right there, I try to do it again. Like I said, I'm just testing the limits of it and seeing where you can do it and where you can't. This was a good game for me to do it too because they, they weren't very good even though they had in, in stellar records. But um, it was just the fact that he was a rebounding rim protector. If that's a slasher, that slasher gonna beat me to the rim every time. But see, you see I'm just denying him in the paint. I shouldn't have hit the button right there. Paul ain't playing no defense again. And uh, you know, it is what it is, they get a rebound. But look, look at the body I'm putting on. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm just fighting him. He, he, he would've got that rebound anyway. How this game is 20 to 19, I don't know. Oh yes, I do know, cause Paul ain't playing no D. But anyway, uh, but Paul got a 75 out there, man. So we expect stuff like that, you know. We, we know where he didn't put this, where he didn't put it at. Uh, man, pull up for the game. And uh, yeah, you had to take over, but you know it is what it is. But like I said, that's Lockdown University, how to play against bigger centers and uh, people that like to spam picks. Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, it's in the game, it's in the game. I don't know why it's in the game. I don't know why you're allowed to stand in front of people and push them when they're running into you. I don't know why you're allowed to do any of that. As you can see, you don't get bruises from it or anything like that, so it is what it is. But like I said, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. That's Lockdown University. Again, if you wanna do the move, all you do is, we're gonna, we're gonna back it up one more time. If you want to do it, and you wanna know how to do it, the first thing you should be doing is playing the passing lanes at all times. So that's that's number one. I'm right here in the passing lane, he gonna try to throw it to him, give me that ball. That's number one. That's the first thing you should be doing. Number two, you see where he is? I see where he's going. I know he wants to set the screen 110%. Stand in front of him. He's mindlessly running up the court. And what happens? Boom, nope. And for some reason, they just let me slap the ball out of his partner's hand. There you go. And right, right there what I did, all I did was size him up and tap B as soon as he got close enough to me. And then they let me turn around and get the steal. I don't know why they let me do that. And then one more time, just for giggles. You see how they're gonna try to cross? He's gonna try to set this screen on man and let them cross. This is a very, very, very common play in 2K. I'm not gonna let him do it. I'm just gonna press the button. I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm, standing, I'm standing on this space, this space is mine. I'm defending myself. I tap B, boom, pushed him. I don't know why you get arm extending pushes and they don't call anything. It looked like I'm hitting him with the right, you Hadouken. No, I mean, it's crazy. But hey, whatever happens, I pushed him into his own man. I pushed him so hard, Paul fell. And then the ball goes out of bounds. So spacing is important. Standing, you know, knowing where you are is important. You can't just dribble the ball into everybody this year. Like I said, everybody's a uh, lockdown defender right now. And uh, it is what it is, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, take the link in the description, cop some merch. I don't know why stuff like this, we're gonna bag it up. I don't know why stuff like this is in the game. But hey, if it's in the game, it's like EA Sports, it's in the game. And I really hope 
even though I use things to my advantage, it's so much stuff in this game that I know that's just completely cheap and I can use to my advantage. I really, look at this man, he just, he just bench pressed this dude off of him, cuz. He literally just straight bench pressed him off of him. But uh, you know, it's so much stuff in this game that I know that's just cheap and how I'm how I'm making my build better. If y'all want me to keep putting the cheap stuff out there, y'all let me know, man. Hopefully they'll change it because this has no place in the game, but I will use it until they do. I mean, I tried to do it straight up my whole YouTube career or whatever you want to call it, my whole time on YouTube. I've always known the cheesiest stuff, the secrets and all that, and I just never put them out there. But I'm doing it this year, man, for the lockdown. I'm putting on for the lockdown. So if you can line your man up and he's not thinking, check him chuck him or grab him uh grab really don't work like that but you don't need grab when you got stuff like this where you can literally grab somebody and bitch press him into look look at the strain on his face he's literally straining look at the strain on my face right there where you can bench press somebody into their man and force them to lose the ball bro you don't need to grab nobody but it is what it is man i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ and you can holler! They six that this month.